Hey, let me guess. You're thinking of becoming one of those crazy people that travel the country in an RV like those YouTubers. I hope so, because it's amazing. It really is, but you're probably also wondering, like, what is it really like? Are there downsides, upsides? Is it a perpetual vacation? Are you just grilling out every day, hanging out by the fire? We are going to answer those questions and give you some details. Yeah, so sit back and relax. We're going to get into it right now. We are Ben and Michelle with Intentional Adventure, and we've lived in our RV, what, about three years now? Yeah, almost three years. And it's been amazing. Let me tell you, it's everything you imagine in that area. On the positives, you get to see amazing places, you get to go places you've never been. Seeing these landscapes is truly breathtaking. You're gonna love that part for sure. Yeah, but at the same time, it's a little bit disappointing because you're leaving everything that you know. You're leaving your house and your family and friends, and it's a little bit hard, and it could be a little bit lonely. Yeah, we want to help you understand what to expect. And I got to tell you, that transition from your normal life where you're plugged in with everything, you have your routine, to going to full-time RVing is a lot like free-falling. It can be very <laughs> odd and frustrating and disconnecting and honestly just lonely because there's going to be transition time of your normal life and then connecting with new friends. So anyway, we want to help you get past that. We're going to give you some tips on that as well in another video, but do know what to expect. There will be a, a, an element of loneliness there and you can get through it. Something else that we love is the flexibility of this lifestyle. If we want to be in the mountains, we could just go. If we're tired of that, we go to the beach. We can always just go where we want to be and we can follow the cooler temperatures or the warmer temperatures if that's what you want. <laughs> well, since we're here, we're at a marina today with Shane and Bonnie and Mary and Doug and a bunch of kids. I don't know whose kids these are. It's going to be fun though. Provided no one drowns, it'll be a wonderful day. <laughs> right? No, it's so true. There's so many different places you want to go. And if you don't like one, you just get to choose to go to the other one. Now here's the downside or the thing you need to be aware of. Moving too fast can actually be extremely stressful. When we yeah. first started out, we were moving every two to three days and man, that just stressed us out. And, and at some point we finally sat down and said, wait a minute, what is going on? This is not supposed to be a stressful lifestyle. Great news. We have found ourselves a campground. This is the this was, uh, how many did we look at? Five? We drove to three, four. We drove? One, two, three, four. We drove around four. And four campgrounds. And we determined we were just moving way too fast. We still had work and school and laundry and everything else that piles up in a normal life. It's just now we were on the road with it. So make sure you don't move too fast while you're exploring everything. But hey, if you don't like your neighbors, pack up <laughs> and go somewhere else. Living on the road has been so great for our family and it's given us so much time together. Yeah, living every waking moment with your wife and your kids, trying to do work in the RV while they're running around, <laughs> beating on the door and dogs are barking and you know cars are honking their horns and stuff. It's really amazing. <laughs> Literally perpetual vacation. I mean, absolutely. Seriously though, if you are used to just seeing your spouse when they get home from work or your kids after school, this is going to be a major transition to be spending so much time with them. And there's going to be a lot of friction because of that. Yeah, but don't give up yet. I mean, it's definitely doable. You just have to develop a few more skills. Yeah, there are so many great books on communication, on child rearing, and there's a bunch of people in the industry who've already done it and can give you tips. So go and follow them follow their videos, follow their Instagram and Facebook and ask questions and you will learn so much. This is truly a character building experience if you want it to be and you can make it, don't give up. All right, something else I gotta tell you that's a real important tip. Don't try to fit your normal structured schedule into the RV lifestyle. Let me tell you what I mean. In a normal life, you're gonna go to work at a certain time, you're gonna do school at a certain time, you're gonna start dinner, you're gonna do laundry, you got all these things, and because there are very few other variables, this works. But in the RV world, there are so many variables that that will stress you out significantly if you try to fit that in this world. Instead, transition fully into this world. You'll find so many ways to meet people, to connect with people that you wouldn't otherwise if you change your schedule. 
Like homeschooling, for instance, instead of spending eight hours a day in the books, you might just spend a couple hours in the morning in the books and then go visit a historical site or go find other people who are learning the same thing and they can all learn together. It really is an amazing experience. What we're trying to say here is just we really want you to be open to changing the structure when you come to this new lifestyle because yeah. that's really going to help it not to be so stressful. I'm going to go grab some coffee because I'm going to be packing this puppy up in the rain today and I'd like to sip a little coffee while I do that. Let's see how rainy it is out here. Oh Lord, oh Lord. It's sprinkling. Oh no. <laughs> I love my wood out of here. It was just dry too. Oh, what a shame. Well, should have taken that thought seriously and moved the wood inside. And believe me, anything you can do to reduce that stress is going to be amazing as you transition into RV living. Okay, there's some tips for you. I hope this information has been helpful. If nothing else, I hope it gave you a glimpse into what RV living is really like so you know what to expect and your journey can be enjoyable as well. And check out our other videos. We've got a lot of great information for getting started in this RV living. Hey, reach out to us. Let us know in the comments if this helped you or if you've got other questions or concerns or if you just need encouragement. Connect with us on Facebook or Instagram. We look forward to meeting you one day soon. All my life I've barely spoken. Your words have been so broken. I've been under your hypnosis. Why did I sip that potion? Oh.